everyone, it's Jamie. Welcome back, and if you're new here, then welcome. Thank you for clicking on this video. In today's video, I will be showing you how I make this really cute St. Patrick's Day wreath using the ruffle method. So if you'd like to see how I do this, then please keep watching. I will be using a 14 inch Dollar Tree wreath ring and 18 pipe cleaners. First, I'm going to wire the wreath ring. The wreath ring has six sections, and by sections, I mean from one seam weld to the other is one section. To wire the ring, I'm going to start with one pipe cleaner and wiring the two inner rings together in the middle of the section, and twisting the pipe cleaner two times. Then I will take another pipe cleaner and wiring the two outer rings together going in about an inch and a half from the left seam weld and twisting the pipe cleaner two times. Then I add a third pipe cleaner wiring the two outer rings together going in about an inch and a half from the right seam weld and twisting the pipe cleaner two times. I will do this to each section. You will end up with six pipe cleaners on the inside and 12 on the outside giving you a total of 18 pipe cleaners. I will be using one row of this Poly Pro mesh from Hobby Lobby. It's 10 inches by 10 yards and I will be cutting 18 pieces to 20 inches long. Next I will be making the ruffles. To make the ruffles, I take one piece of mesh, uncurl it, then turn it over and place something on the top to weigh it down. Then at the bottom, I start in the middle with my thumbs and push the mesh up towards the top, walking my fingers up the mesh, gathering the mesh as I go. It will end up looking like a bow. Next, I'm going to add the ruffles to the wreath. By starting with the pipe cleaner on the inside of the section, and laying the ruffle in the middle of the pipe cleaner with one finished edge going toward the inside of the wreath and the other finished edge going toward the outside of the wreath. I then twist the pipe cleaner two to three times to secure it. Then I fluff out the ruffle. I will then do the same thing to the remaining pipe cleaners. And here's how it looks with the ruffles added. Next, I'm going to cut the inner six pipe cleaners off because I will not be needing them. I just locate the pipe cleaner and twist it four to five times, then snip off the end of the pipe cleaner and give it a little tuck to keep it out of the way. I will do this to only the six inner pipe cleaners. Now I'm going to be making the ribbon tails. I will be using this two and a half inch wide wired ribbon from Dollar Tree. I will be cutting 12 ribbon tails to 14 inches long and dovetailing the ends. I will cut six of the clover and six of the striped. To make the ribbon tails, I'm taking the ribbon, then folding it in half to find the center. I then gather it in the middle and this forms the ribbon tail. Then to add the ribbon tail to the wreath, I just locate a pipe cleaner and place the ribbon in the middle, going vertically, then twist the pipe cleaner a couple times. Then I take the ribbon tails and pull them downward, laying them side by side. I will do this to each of the remaining pipe cleaners, alternating each ribbon.
Here's how it's looking with the ribbon tails added. I will be using this sign from Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut off the part with the ribbon and the welcome sign. Then I will hot glue two pipe cleaners to the back with a generous amount of glue. While the glue on the sign is setting up, I'm going to be adding some of the vase filler balls from Dollar Tree to the pipe cleaners. First, I'm going to cut the pipe cleaners down a little shorter so they are about an inch and a half long. Then I add the foam balls by pushing them down onto the end of the pipe cleaners. I will go back in and secure them with a little dab of hot glue. Here's how it looks with the foam balls added. Next I'm going to add a bow. I did not film me making the bow, but I do have a bow tutorial I will have linked in the description box if you want to go check it out. Now I've not flipped the bow just yet, but I will do that once the wreath is done. To attach the bow to the wreath, I decide where I want it to go. Then I feed the legs of the pipe cleaner through the mesh to the back of the wreath. I flip the wreath over, then secure the pipe cleaners by twisting them around the two rings in the middle of the section. Then I fold the pipe cleaner over and tuck it in. Or you can always snip it off if you like. Next I'm going to add the sign. I decide where I want it to go and I feed the pipe cleaners through the mesh to the back of the wreath. I flip the wreath over, then secure the pipe cleaners to the wreath frame by twisting the pipe cleaners a few times, then folding and tucking them in. You can always cut the pipe cleaners off if you like. Next I'm going to add some embellishments from Dollar Tree. I ended up not using the Mardi Gras hats, but I did use everything else. Before I start gluing anything down, I like to lay everything out where I want them to go, so that way I can make sure it's how I like it before it's permanently added. For the clover, I just slid the sprigs off the stems and placed them where I wanted them. And the shamrock picks, I just cut them down to the size I wanted. Once I've decided where I want everything, I go in with hot glue and start gluing them in place. And here's how the wreath turned out. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I wanted to thank you all for watching and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.